A House committee this week looked into regulating the home mortgage industry. We pick it up with consumer groups offering their recommendations. In about an hour, bankers, mortgage brokers, realtors, and others on the business side of the mortgage industry. Illinois Democrat Louis Gutierrez chairs the Financial Services Subcommittee on Financial Institutions and Consumer Credit. The uh, committee will come to order. And on our second panel today, we have uh, uh, David Barenbaum, uh, who is the executive vice president for the National Community Reinvestment Coalition. Thank you for being here today. Julia Garden is a senior policy counsel for the Center for Responsible Lending. So good to see you. Margot Sanders is counsel of the National Consumer Law Center and has testified on behalf of both the National Consumer Law Center and the National Association of Consumer Advocates and welcome today. Uh, Stephanie Jones is the executive director of the National Urban League Policy Institute. Welcome to the committee. And uh, Gracia uh, Aponte, did I say that right? Okay, Graciela, I'm sorry. Aponte is an analyst at the National Council of, of La Raza. Uh, welcome to the committee. And our final witness is Donald C. Lamp, uh, who is a partner with the firm of Womble, Carlisle Sandridge, and Rice PLLC in Charlotte, North Carolina. Thank you all for being here today. And we will start with Mr. Barenbaum. You may begin. You have five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, uh, Majority Leader, uh, Ranking Member, excuse me, Hensling, and members of the committee. Uh, I'm honored to testify, testify today on behalf of the members of the National Community Reinvestment Coalition on the subject of mortgage lending reform, a comprehensive review of the American mortgage system. Yesterday, Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke, in his remarks before the Council on Foreign Relations, stated that the financial system must be regulated, to quote him, as a whole, in a holistic way, end quote, and acknowledged that the current financial crisis has, quote, revealed some shocking gaps in our regulatory oversight, unquote. To speak candidly, the sharp economic decline and distress in the mortgage market resulting from the foreclosure crisis can be traced both to out-of-date consumer protection laws and failed regulatory oversight. Loopholes in the law and inadequate regulatory enforcement allowed abusive and problematic lending to flourish. The foreclosures that arose from predatory lending have not only severely undermined the financial stability of working families and communities, but also are now weakening the credit markets and diminishing overall economic activity and performance. Massive foreclosures are spurring a self-reinforcing cycle of defaults now compo uh, compounded by rising, rising unemployment. Multiple studies by Credit Suisse and others have documented the impact of, in fact, this reality. Over 600,000 jobs were lost that month, last month, and in fact, now unemployment is at 8.1 percent, the 14th consecutive month of job losses in our nation. The foreclosure crisis has destroyed significant amounts of national and family wealth, and since the onset of the crisis, home prices have declined by at least 25 percent nationwide. We request that you consider four emerging issues at this time. First, we call for an investigation with regard to spikes in foreclosure within the FHA loan program. It is completely unacceptable at this time that a number of consumers who are simply one month into their FHA loan program payments are now defaulting. That documents widespread fraud, ongoing fraud, regardless of loan product in our system today, and the need for anti-predatory lending uh, ordinances. Second, since 3915 was originally enacted, there is substantial evidence that the rating agencies played a crucial role in the entire crisis. NCRC has filed letters of grievance to the SEC and three discrimination complaints to the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development documenting the impact, the foreclosure impact, in minority, predominantly African American, low moderate, and Latino communities. Third, the widespread uh, uh, availability of foreclosure, quote, scams, 
represented to be foreclosure assistance programs to consumers. Consumers again and again today are going to these for-profit con artists and having tens, tens and tens of thousands of dollars in communities across the country stolen from them. And then the abusive use of broker price opinions. It's a race to the bottom right now. In fact, real estate professionals are playing a role in managing REO and also selling that property. A clear conflict of interest compounding appraisal valuation issues, originally pushing to increase value, now in fact lowering the tax base around the nation. We believe that 3915, when it passed the House, was a significant step forward. However, we would like you to take a serious look at, in fact, the companion bill that in the Senate, though it did not move, was in fact introduced. That looks at very, some very difficult issues, such as assignee liability, looking at servicing and other areas. We believe that that review would be extremely positive, in fact, moving a bill ahead. I would like to address the issue of the Community Reinvestment Act, which also emerged in the first panel. There are any number of solutions to where we are in the current mortgage crisis. CRA was not, I say again, a not a factor in the current crisis. Multiple studies, not solely out of the Fed, have documented that CRA played a positive role in sustainable mortgage loans. And in fact, NCRC strongly argues for what Massachusetts has done on a national level to expand the Community Reinvestment Act to reach many in the marketplace, investment bankers, large credit unions, financial service corporations, Wall Street and others. Last, we also recognize that there's a need for a National Financial Product Safety Commission to really take a look at what is in a consumer's interest. I respectfully submit to you with my 10 seconds of remaining time that what is in a consumer's interest is in corporate America's interest. Responsible lending benefits all. Thank you. Uh,